Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Kemzit. We shall be resuming with the adventures. I'm gonna quickly look back here. There's still a tourney going on, but I'm not gonna bother with it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn our asses to that fucking thing and head towards the recipe which we have to bring to Simon. Yeah. And then afterwards we shall continue on with the rest of the stuff. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. Ooh, there we go, we're safe. I thought we we're gonna fucking hit the fucking roof again. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Oh. Albrack, you fucking useless horse at times. What? I was literally yeah. flying for a moment. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, we're still over the fence anyway. Now, let's go to this thingy. Deliver that, yeah. and I hope that's the last quest he will be offering me. And afterwards, we're gonna get that stone and erect it, and we should be done, I hope. On the other hand, we nearly finished all the side quests, actually, which is really good. I wonder if there will be more in the future, but I'm certain there will be. On the other hand, we then can continue on with the main quests. As we, as we have been um, venturing through the most of the lands here. So let's see. Oh shit. Should watch out not to fall low. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, here we are. Now we can head to the dude. He should be happy. Yeah. Now, Miller Simon, God be with you. you too. Uh, here. Here's your bear. Wonderful. I'd like you to. Certainly. I want to. You can't become. A Fuck you. Well. Any chance of a nice little learner? Not so much for you as for me, but you can. The Sasso Cobbler's been making some fancy boots, and he's been given spurs from their lordships to add to them. I'm after those spurs. But won't that get the Cobbler in trouble? Losing their lordship's spurs, just like that. <laughs> and is that any of our concern? No, it isn't. You can count on... Um, just don't get yourself... Got Fine. You. Another quest then, for good sake. Um, let's see, we should be heading them first to the, uh, fucking quarry here. Purchase that stone. And be done with it. All I hope is when that lady explains that to the children of that dude, I hope they will be accepting it normally because some people might react very aggressively and curse her for like, hey, you got my mom, fight my dad and all that, and then that would happen. But who knows? I wonder even if the game were going to show us such a cut scene, but um, I don't think they will. On the other end, let's just continue on, head down below and we should be fine. Whoop. I can see already the castle. Oh shit, of course we fall into a fucking pit of fucking bush. And I can't see jack shit again, partly. Woodland garden. There we are. I thought I was stuck there for a minute. Ooh, what's this? An interesting point. Sight, I mean. Sorry.
Run, boy, run. We are nearly here. Oh, come on. Here, we can speak with one of them. Yeah. I think it's him, Rupert. Hello. I need to erect an atonement. Ten Groshen. We already have one such cross ready. So if you pay now, we can have it sent wherever you want to meet. There you are. There, we're done. What do you think? Will he come again? I'm sure we've seen the last of him. Oh, I feel so light. I could float away at peace with the world. That's a peace I have yet to find. Mm. As you've seen for yourself, shaking off the past isn't easy. Here's a ring my husband left me. I don't even know where he got it, but it might be worth something. Take it with my gratitude. Glad I was able to help. Thank you. And God be with you. And with you. I hope you'll finally have peaceful dreams. Indeed, thick woman. Now shut up. Ooh, drawing mirror's ring seem to be nice, actually. Uh... Just put it on. Seems to be quite worth it. Right, well, another quest finished. There we go, finally, for fuck's sake. The rest of the spirit quest is done. Now we should head to this way. This is the things he erected. Yeah. Let's go. Thief. Thief. I'm not gonna bother this time, or I'm gonna be the one who's gonna have some problems. Fuck's sake. Always me when I try to get involved and help people, I'm gonna be like, oh no, you still shit. Fucking pricks. What's this? Whatever. Unless we have found quite a few beehives as well. Um, What's this? Someone get got hanged there. Nice. Not really. If it was a thief, I mean, he deserves it. Such as the fate of what should happen to the other one that I didn't try to catch or help. The dude. But there's enough guards. Okay, we are close by. Ah, there we go. Nearly there. Yes, Jesus is right. Um, hold on. What did I have to do here? B. Speak with Ulrich. Find out who in Salsa works with copper. I need to find that out. Shut up, dog. Hmm. Maybe one of the local smiths. I think it could be maybe one of this dude here. Like Smith. God's almighty. This 
there. He doesn't know anything too bad. Maybe this guy. How are you? I'm fine. What can you tell me about the sass? There's too many of us, I'll tell you that for free. This is only a small town. There's Zack, who has a forge in the craftsman's yard. And, and then, apart from me, there's Master Arm. Tell me more about Zack. Don't have much time for him myself. He knows his craft, no question. But he seems to think his son, Vitus, will be a master armor. My father was a blacksmith, and I expect he thought much the same about me. That's how fathers are, isn't it? Of course, any man should be proud of his boy. But Zack makes pride a sin. That's why he's at loggerheads with Master Rock. Can you tell me something about my... Well now, there's a master to look up to. He's worked for the Lords of Kunstadt and for the richest townsfolk of Prague. If you don't mind my asking, what brings him here? The same as draws all reasonable people. He's enjoying the peace and quiet. Or rather, he used to enjoy some peace. That dispute with Zack must have put a few more wrinkles on his brow. What are Zack and Master Otter arguing about? Zack had his boy Vitus trained as an armor in Kuttenberg, and he wanted to buy out Otter's place for it. Except that Otter's a proud man. How would it have looked? A master armorer giving way to a young whippersnapper who's barely let go of his mother's skirt? And they've been arguing ever since. Well, Zack mostly. He badmouths Otter every chance he gets. He claims that he's only fit for mending pots and that his son will see him off. Hmm. That will be all. Do you ever work with Copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Zack from the Monastery Craftsman's Yard has bought out all the Copper. Hmm. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay. Um, I want to speak with Ota before I speak with Zack because he's in the other side. Let's go. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, really. This shady peak p reporter. I'm on it. Sounds crazy. Same. What's this? Yes, please. Uh, let's then sell our own old bullshittery books. So peaceful. Anything out of copper, Master? I do a bit of damascene decor sometimes. I'm looking for someone who could do me some copper sheet. Well, that's pretty rough and ready work. I wouldn't waste my time with it. But go and ask Zack from the craftsman's yard by the monastery. He's bought up all the copper to be had around here anyway. 
What can you tell me about the blacksmiths here in Sasa? Depends which ones you mean. In the town, there's Mikesh. He's a decent man and an honest craftsman. And in the yard by the monastery, there's Zack. But there's not many good words I can... Tell me something about me. Like I said, he's an honest craftsman. Which isn't something you can say about every blacksmith in town. What about the monastery blacksmith? Well, him and me don't exactly see eye to eye. He wanted to buy my business, but I turned him down. Ever since then, he hasn't had a good word to say about me. That will be all. Master Blacksmith, I've got a great offer for you. Not now. First I've got to deal with that bot. Shame I can't swim. Okay. So, what did Master Faper have? I consulted him and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Master Faper found out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins, and Quicksilver for the armor. I see. They have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I'm interested in the local forges. Yes, that is good. Yesterday, I heard people from the craftsman's yard by the monastery complaining. They said they could not sleep at night because the blacksmith works all the time till dawn. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. Have you heard anything else? You said they use quicksilver. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. Well, that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. Okay. I can sat here fucking there. No quicksilver. Hmm. I hope I can be of some moment. I hear you've had some problems with the supply of Quicksilver. Problems? I should say so. For the third time this month they've told me there's none. There's no Quicksilver to be had, they said. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal with such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. <laughs> Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying it was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Jesus, what do I know? But it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same paint goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. What do you need Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. They mix up the red pigment for me. I'm taking to the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. Then be glad you can. My eyes are just to imagine it. <laughs> That's all I need to know for now. Ah. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay's getting expensive. Why not? Show me what you have to offer. Good luck, then. Hmm. Let's buy that. One ale over here, please. 
Well, I have at least purchased um, the treasure chest from, I mean treasure, treasure uh, map and we've also purchased the book. It should make us good. Um, I'm gonna quickly try to head over this way. Hold on. Find out who in Sasso. Well, we have, we know who's working. Continue to investigate in the overseer yeah. office. Let's just check that out. Smaller. What? Smaller's the one responsible for all the thefts and death. He tried to kill me and Leshek and God knows who else. Sweet. Jesus. Dead. I killed him in self-defense. So is that the end of it, do you think? It looks that way. Leshek was helping him, but he's dead. So things should settle down from now on. God bless. Even so, we'll have to reconsecrate the monastery. I'm looking for some quicksilver. Did you have any on hand? Talk to my assistant. He deals with such fine. Thank you. Good luck to you. I'm honored that a knight such as you. Do you have any quicksilver in stock? Who's asking? Nobody. I'm just asking. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. I see. You can't because you don't have any. And you don't have any because you're selling it out the back door, eh? Suppose I was. I don't see what business it is of yours. What if I told you I'm the emissary of the royal hetman Radzig Kobola, and you've got yourself mixed up with a counterfeiting gang? Counterfeiters? Meaning what? Somewhere around here is a counterfeiter's workshop. They need the quicksilver to make fake groschen. Jesus. But I didn't know anything about any counterfeiting. For your sake, I hope that's true. Now tell me what's been going on. I swear, I, I wouldn't normally do anything like that. Get to the point. Uh, they came for me at noon. Directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Some night, it was. Without a crest. Armed. He called himself Sir Yezhek, and he had a lackey with him called Rapporta. Scruffy fellow with a yellow cape. Always whistling he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. Of course, I told him that wouldn't be possible. And then what? Did they threaten you? Uh, not at first. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. Hmm. I did see the uh, that did you hand it over other to guy. You? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. Yeah? There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Raputa is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then. You know how it is. I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name, everything. Very well, thank you. Take care now. Hmm.
Why are you just sitting around? Why not? Admiring the view. People just do not appreciate a lovely view these days. Does the name Rapata ring the bell for you? Rapata, you say? Rapata. Hmm. Nope, I can't hear any bells ringing. Look, you little jester, I'm investigating a crime against the king on the direct orders of Sir Radzik. Are you really going to keep pretending you don't know anything? Hang on. What's all this about a crime against... I'm just keeping an eye on things. When a wagon comes in, I'll make sure nobody robs it. I get a commission for that. That's it. See? That didn't hurt a bit. Where's Rapata? I don't know. He's been staying in town lately. He hardly ever shows up here. It seems he's keeping an eye on someone there. But I don't know who. Who comes to fetch them? I don't know. Some people. They don't speak. Just look mean. Take the goods and go. Bit of friendly advice. You're wasting your time here. Wrap it to Scarford and won't be coming back this way anytime soon. You might as well pack up and go home. What? The bastard owes me a dozen groschen. Damn it. Now what? Well, no use hanging around here anyway. In any case, thanks for the information. I could have been stuck here for weeks. Oh, you bastard. I have dealt with him. Um, I need to check around here. Hold on. Let's. I think I'm just gonna go in here. Hold on. God's blessing. I'd like to make you an offer. Have you heard about Critters? Don't bother me now, young fella. I've what can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? Well, that's Mikesh. He's honest enough, and a fair hand at everyday things. And then there's Master Otter. He used to have talent, but now he's too old, and too proud to admit it. Do you work any copper here, Master Blacksmith? Why'd you ask? I'd want to commission you to make something. 
Then you best go elsewhere. That's not what I heard. What? I was told in town that you bought all the other blacksmith's copper. I'm being made a fool of yet again, it seems. Anything else? I still have work. Goodbye. Your father says you don't work here. We don't. I've heard differently around town. They say your father brought up all the copper to be had. Are you calling me a liar? Or my father? Just be sure you know what you're letting yourself in for. Is that a threat? You don't get it, do you? I don't particularly want to fight with you. I don't have the time or the need to prove anything. So I'll just take my knife and stick it between your ribs. And then I'll keep twisting until you tell me the truth. So show me what you're made. Hey, you, like oh, you fucking prick. What's the matter? Come on. Oh. 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 Ah. Eat shit then. Well, that's Vitus down. His father just doesn't know what happened. Let's loot. Shed key, because this is a shed, right? Unlock. Hmm, copper, and quite a lot of it. Hmm, copper, and quite a lot of it. I wonder what Zach will have to say about this. Christ, the thief! People! A thief! Thanks for the gold. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll. Ah, hey, here you go, then. You purged yourself. Give me all the things you stole, so I can return. Well, it doesn't matter. We know what happened. So back to that copper. What? I see. Then it's a little odd that you have baskets full of raw copper in the shed round the back. You've been in my barn. Best make a head start before I talk to the bailiff. Your workshop's supplying a counterfeiting gun. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me the. All right. I suppose there's no point lying. We do make copy sheets here, and I wanted to keep it quiet. Why? Pays me good money, and the people I do it for. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of them. Did they threaten you? They didn't have to. Just by the look of them, I could say I needed to shut my mouth and do what they wanted. And did they ever tell you who they were? Do you know where to find them? I know a little. But show some understanding. There's nothing but trouble in it for me. I'll lose the work and be left looking over my shoulder for some thugs to come and burn down my house. Or worse. If you lie down with dogs, you shouldn't complain about the fleas. There's no need for threats. We can both benefit here. If I tell you everything I know, you can help me with a certain small matter. One that'll cover up for my loss of earnings. So what are we talking about? I recently tried to buy Master Armorer Otto Rabstein's business for my son Vitas, but that old fool wouldn't listen to reason. He said he couldn't understand his legacy being taken over by a clod like my Vitus. Despite the insult, I doubled my offer. But Master Otter still wouldn't budge. And what is it you need from me? I thought I'd show Otter that Vitus isn't such a dolt as he thinks. But for that, I need someone experienced in combat. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. 
What's your plan? Otter's busy making a very pretty suit of armor for the bailiff. So I was thinking, if we could show that pretty armor of his is absolutely useless, he'd be disgraced. And how am I supposed to see to that? Well, I reckon we'd arrange a duel of champions with bludgeons. You'll put on Vitus's armor, and Otter will send his champion in that tin shit of his. You invite the bailiff to watch, and Otto will be made a laughingstock in front of everyone. Then what do I get out of it? What we already agreed. I'll give up dealing in copper, and I'll tell you everything I know about what's been going on. But what if I lose? Nonsense. How could you? Vitus's armour is light as an eggshell and hard as a rock. Do you really think that will work? Otto's always mouthing off in the alehouse that my young lad isn't worth a damn. Once I show he's just a bitter old bastard spouting hot air, his business will be ruined, and Vitus will reap the reward. What with all the strife in the country these days, there'll be no end of work for a good armourer. Agreed. I'll get to work on it. Wonderful. Go to Otto first and talk him into it. Then go to the bailiff so he can announce it and get spectators. The more people see it, the better. We'll bring the armor to you at the combat arena. Okay. Goodbye. Let's go do the quest with Rattles. Yeah. If we can kick out Master Otto from here, I can try to get him into my place. Also, the lad was waiting here. Rapota here, see? Are you Rapota by any chance? Pardon me? Do we? No, but I'm hoping to change that. Uh, um, well, I... It'll only take a moment. Um, all right. I know you buy Quicksilver for those counterfeiters. Uh, it seems there's no point making excuse. None. Now tell me where their workshop is. Of course, of course. That... that will be the best solution. So? Uh, let's leave it for an... Come back here. talk I will I will just don't hurt me please what do you want from me tell me where the workshop is don't worry your master won't be punishing you for betraying him we're both gonna have too many other problems it's in the Scullet's mines that doesn't narrow it down very much on the eastern side of Scullet's Hill there's an abandoned mine gallery well it used to be abandoned now there's a small camp in front of it and the workshop is inside Hmm. Who is your lord? So Yezhek of Ronoff. That's what he calls himself, although Ronoff Castle is long gone. What happened to it? Ronoff used to belong to Vincent, Count Lichtenberg. After his death, it fell to Margrave Jobst, and he had it pulled down. He knew full well that Vincent's vassals would resist him. Why? Everyone knows that when a lord dies without issue, the king can confer his estate on whoever he pleases. But Vincent had the sentence. Ronoff only fell to the Margrave because he declared them all illegitimate. All because Vincent had refused to fight for him against Sir Prokop. Sir Yezhek led a revolt of the vassals, and the Obs rounded them all up. Only Sir Yezhek got away. Since then, he's become the scourge of the domain. Who are you, anyway? They call me Rapata. I used to be the executioner's henchman in Brno. And how did you come to be serving Sir Yezha? I helped him escape from prison. If I was going to serve anyone, better Sir Yezhek than the executioner. 
So you saw being a brigand's henchman as a step up in the world? I thought if things changed and he stopped marauding, he might get run off back, take me into his service. Well, after this little escapade, you can forget about that. You'll be lucky if you don't end up swinging on the gallows. And it's all the same anyway now. I've betrayed him. So who's the Yeshek working for? Don't tell me he just took it into his head one day to start forging coins. That's not for me to know. So Yezhek was on speaking terms with various lordships. Such as? We were often guests at the monastery, but I slept in the halo, so I heard nothing. And apart from that? In the camp, you'd occasionally see a Hungarian nobleman, but I don't know what he was doing there, or who he is. I think I've heard enough. Can I ask you something? Yes. I don't want to hang. It's a horrible death. I prefer you just kill me here and now. An honorable death? No chance. It's the dungeons for you, and the sort of punishment a counterfeiter deserves. Don't worry. In time, you'll be glad of the gallows. What? Well, he entered here. Okay. That's good. Master Ota. Greetings, good. Master Amara. I have a message for you. If it's another one of his so-called generous offers, you can go straight back and tell him I'm not selling. No, this is another matter. Vitus wants to challenge you to a duel. What? <laughs> Me fight with that brat? Zack must have lost his mind entirely. That's not how it will be. The real duel will be between your pieces of handiwork. How's that? It will be a duel with bloodshed. No bloodshed. At most, a few bruises and a few dents in the armor. Zack chose me to wear a Vitus armor. And so I'm to choose a champion of my own. That sounds reasonable. Good. So let's agree on the time and place. Hold your horses, young fella. I've got a counter offer for you. Now I'm sure Zack is paying you well. Maybe I'm just doing it out of love for my neighbor. Aye, oh, regular good Samaritan, no doubt. I could pay you more. And I'd tailor make a Kiras just for you. What do you say? You mean if I fight as your champion instead? I'm not sure how Zack would take it. No, no, you fight on Zack's side and lose. That's not very honorable. And Zack's constant slander and mudslinging are the height of honor, are they? But what if Zack's right? You're not as young as you used to be, and Vitus is trained with renowned mass. What? You're as impertinent as that bastard Zack and his wealth of a son. How dare you? I don't need help from the likes of you. You'll get such a battering even Brother Nicodemus from the monastery won't know which side of you is up. Now, not until you tell me where and when we should. I don't know. Sort it out with the bailiff. He should come anyway, so I don't get the blame when you get beaten to a pole. <laughs> Ooh, I pissed him very off. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come here, boy. That's fine, boy. Someone is mad. You mad, bruh? You mad, bruh? <laughs> oh my god, this is lovely. Uh, let's just get inside. But is he even inside? No, he's... Oh, that's where I have to steal the shit. Um, Arrange the deal with the bailiff. Okay, we'll steal with that thingy later. Yeah. Yeah. Bailiff. God be with you. 
I'm here on behalf of Blacksmith Zack. Zack? What does that madman want now? Don't tell me. It's another complaint about the Master Armor. Well, you can tell Zack if you waste another minute of my time with that pathetic feud of his. I'll have him up for disrespecting the office of the baby. No, it's not a complaint this time. In fact, Zack came up with an idea to settle the dispute once and for all. Is that so? Well, that's a different kettle of fish. That's just what I was after. You have my full attention, friend. What's his duel? Jesus Christ! Has he lost his wits entirely? Don't worry, good one, Vader. No one will get killed. It will only be a duel with bludgeon. Zack chose me as his champion. I'll be wearing a suit of armor made by his son, Vitus, and I'll fight Otter's champion. Whoever falls first... <laughs> that sounds like a fine spectacle for the village green. Naturally, I'll have to be present to ensure nothing untoward happens. Your presence is certainly expected, Baylor. We'd like you to referee the whole duel. That's up to you. We can announce it right now. Sure, let's go. Let's do it. I'll have it announced around town. You come along at just the right time. It'll be a fine show for the townsfolk. And I'll finally get that pair and their constant squabbling off my back. Let's go. Slaughter them. Good citizens of Sassau. Our township has long been plagued by a protracted dispute. As you are no doubt aware, Zack, the blacksmith of the monastery courtyard, and Master Armorer Otto Rabstein have been for some time. At odds. <laughs> and in so much as it behoves my office as bailiff to settle such disputes and maintain peace and order, I have decided to resolve the blacksmith's quarrel by unconventional means, whilst affording an entertaining spectacle. In short, we shall let them knock each other's teeth out. <laughs> However, since it ill befits two respectable tradesmen to maul each other on the market square like a pair of cocks on a donkey, each of them has elected a champion. Zack, the blacksmith, has appointed to fight in his stead Henry of Scarlet and Master Otto Rabstein's champion will be... <laughs> Please, introduce yourself, Sir Knight. Master Otter will fight for Master Otter. I don't need some young pup to take my place. <laughs> I remind you that this will be a duel with bludgeons alone. And until first blood is shed. Come, folks, be sensible for heaven's sake. We don't want any maiming here, or, God forbid, murder. So, if both contestants are ready, let us begin. Well, before we continue on, we'll call it a day over here, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it. Do you want to recommend something in Rookie Game together as possible as well? Just write down comments below or join my Discord server so we can have a chat chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys. Laters!